Okay, family, good afternoon. This is our part two. This is for October the 5th. And it says, I want you to have no fear. Amen. Who, Abba Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you for these two readings, Lord, that have just blessed, um, blessed our souls, Lord. Bless my soul, Lord, so much, Lord, that I had to share both readings. So thank you, Abba Father. Thank you to my YouTube family and my TikTok family. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, next we have, I want you to have no fear, October the 5th. I want you to have no fear of bad news. The only way to accomplish this feat is to have a steadfast heart trusting in me. There is an abundance of bad news in the world, but you don't need to be afraid of it. Instead, confidently rely on me. Believe in me. Find encouragement in my sacrificial death on the cross and my miraculous resurrection. I, your living Savior, am Almighty God. I am sovereign over global events. I am still in control. Amen. When things around you or in the world seem to be spinning out of control, come to me and pour out your heart. Amen. Instead of fretting and fuming, put your energy into praying. Amen. Come to me not only for the comfort, but also for direction. I will help you find the way forward. Moreover, I take your prayers into account as I govern your planet in ways far, far beyond your understanding. Don't dread bad news or let it spook you. Instead, keep your heart steadfast and calm through confident trust in me. Amen. Our first scripture is taken from Psalms 112 and verse 7 and it reads excuse me he will have no fear of bad news his heart is steadfast trusting in the Lord Psalms 112 verse 7 then Psalm 62 verse 8 reads trust in him at all times you people pour out your heart before him God is a refuge for us. Psalm 62, verse 8, the Old Testament, and Psalm 112, verse 7 in the Old Testament. Next, we have the New Testament. Isaiah, I mean, I'm sorry, we have the Old Testament once more. Isaiah 40, in verse 10, and it reads, Yes, the sovereign Lord is coming in power. He will rule with a powerful arm. Amen. And lastly, again from the book of Isaiah. For, un, for to us a child is born, to us a son is given. And the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Isaiah 9 and verse 6, again, all from the Old Testament. Abba Father, thank you, Lord, for the living word. Thank you, Lord, for these scripture lessons and both of these readings, Lord. Help us to read on further, Abba Father. Lord, if it's someone that's hearing this for the first time, let them Google the scriptures, Lord, to read more. Lord, teach them, Lord, encourage them, Lord knock on the door and say let me in only you Abba Father can make it plain in all of the various and different circumstances that comes before each and every one of us Lord sometimes we experience challenges together but, Lord, but, the, but Lord most of the time our challenges come to us individually help us dear God to open up the door, to trust you to come in and sit down and eat at the table with you. 
Thank you, Abba Father, today for my YouTube family, for my TikTok family, for this joint reading, Lord God. And I pray that the blessing will go out amongst your people, Lord, Father, and we will be more rooted and solid and steadfast in you. Thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, family. This is Miss Norma getting ready to sign off from our second reading. I pray that you will be blessed and armed.